Hi, my name is Peter Thompson. I'm both the founder and managing director of Custodia Systems. I hope you just stick with us for a few minutes here because uh, I think we've got some quite interesting information that uh, we've got to share with you. Back in 2005, when we started the business, we were selling lots of these devices here. This is a GPS tracking device. Okay, it's a great thing. It still is a great thing. A lot of you would have used satellite tracking systems. They tell you exactly where you are, what speed you're going. Uh, you know, you can look back at yesterday and see where you were, etc., etc. Two real big problems, though. A, it needs power. You know, power is a big problem because a it can drain the battery down from your your asset, your motorbike, your plant machinery, whatever it is it's going on. And secondly, it provides a route for the thieves to locate where your device is being hidden. You can scan for the power draw, uh, drain even when a unit switched off. This thing will still be taking some power and locate exactly where it is. And secondly. This here, this is a GPS aerial. Now, GPS satellites exist in a geostationary orbit at 26,000 miles away, which makes this system extremely impressive, but it also makes it quite weak. Now, if I go into eBay and type in GPS jammer, unfortunately, you know, these are not uncommon bits of devices to get now. Very easy to block this weak signal, which is why from a theft point of view, we need to put that to one side. It's not gonna solve the problem. This did. In 2005, we got the Impello Mark I. Some of our customers called it the mouse. Uh, this really revolutionized the way that we did things. Suddenly, recovery rates were going from 30, 40% up into 90 plus percent consistently, and they stay there to this day. But this is the new unit that I'm here to talk to you about, really. This is the Apello Geo. It's the first global device that's not GPS and is capable of, of locating both indoors and out. When we recover stolen items, they are not normally left out in the street for people to uh, discover as they pass by. They're in lockups, garages, underground locations. They're in shipping containers. They're on boats making their way to mainland Europe. This is where we come in and do something quite unique. I'm gonna hand over to John Musset, who's uh, our head of investigations, who's gonna go into a little bit more detail about that. Please do stick with us and uh, thanks for watching. Hi, I'm John Musser, I'm Head of Investigations for Custodia Systems. Today we're looking at the Apello Geo. As you've just seen, it's a tough little tracking unit. It's passed the diamond standard by Sol Secure for insurance purposes. You can use it to protect any asset whatsoever. It could be a piece of plant equipment, a motorbike, a motorhome or a caravan. It could be an office safe or any other piece of valuable office equipment. But today, we're going to look at protecting this rather nice sports car. A tough little unit, as you've just seen from that demonstration with the rollover test. It's self contained, it's got its own battery supply, it doesn't need wiring into anything. So, the places you can hide it in this car almost limitless. Where there's no wiring, but we don't want to give the thieves too many ideas as to where we actually hide the unit, but we supply you with that information when we supply you with the unit. We'll look at hiding it today in the boot of the car. Good morning, Custody Systems. How can I help you? I'm sorry to hear about that. Can I just take some details of you, please? Do you have a crime reference number? Yeah? Today's date. Okay. Thank you. I joined Custodia Systems having served with South Yorkshire Police for 30 years in the Roads Policing Department mainly and also uh, with firearms. The last four years was part of a plant theft investigation team. We brought a lot of practices that I uh, used with the police into Custodia Systems as best practice. Uh, our investigators will go out there armed with the correct information so that we can assist the police officers that we deal with on a daily basis when we are recovering stolen assets. When we get a theft reported to us, the first thing that we do is do a report with all the information included on it of the item that's been stolen. Serial numbers, 
any identifying marks, registration numbers, we'll also get police incident numbers and crime numbers. We can then use our software to get the last known location of the stolen piece of equipment and then myself or one of my investigators will be dispatched to out there and recover it. So let's fire up the Quattro and get out. Once we're out on the ground uh, looking for stolen assets, um, all investigators will be trained uh, by myself uh, within the company. We use a uh, receiver for security reasons. We can't uh, obviously show too much of that, but uh, it can be removed from the car and handheld when we get a bit closer in. So basically, we'll get uh, using software a search location for the stolen asset. We'll go into that area and then we should pick a signal up using the receiver. As you can hear the signal's increasing greatly now, so we must be fairly close to the uh, vehicle. Yeah, in fact, I think this is the uh, stolen car here. To give you an example of how directional the signal is, when we're pointing it at the asset that contains the tracking unit, we get a very strong signal. And as we point it away, the signal fades to nothing. And point it back again. And we get the very strong signal. Let's, uh, uh, thank you very much ladies, uh, wasn't quite what I wanted to do, uh, as you can see, uh, this unit's quite a tough unit, so we don't need to worry too much about how it, uh, uh, what environment it sits in, as, uh, as long as it's not sitting in water all day long I think we'll be okay. What I want to show you though is just how strong the homing beacon is on this unit. This beacon will locate inside a storage container, in a garage, in the boot of your car, anywhere. And that's crucial because GPS systems don't do that. So I put inside this metal box here. What I've got here is the handheld radio system that you saw John doing to track the unit. We can pick up the signal just fine as you would expect us to be able to. If I just place that down there, I'm going to do something that tracking systems just can't normally do. We've still got a signal going on, very strong. I think, come with me, let's do another one, shall we? This is a, uh, a metal flight case. Okay? Used for transporting your goods. It's made of metal yet again. No signal should get out of that, but we've already got it inside the red box. Ooh. Okay, we're still getting a signal here. I've got one more idea. Come on. This is a steel cabinet. Inside the steel cabinet we keep our stock. It's uh, obviously, yet again, as you can see, metal all the way around. You're getting the idea now, right? Russian doll trick. So, let's see if we can take three layers. Okay, that's how tough the Apollo is. 